everybody, it's Jackie and welcome back to my channel for this Kylie Jenner inspired makeup look. This is going to be my last summer theme video and I got the Sailor Summer Collection from Kylie Cosmetics. I'm in love with this packaging and nautical theme so yeah I recreated the entire look and I'll be giving a review along the way so if you enjoy this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you're new here I post pop culture tutorials every week and while I love to do transformations the goal is just to inspire you to switch up your style with confidence and if you ever try out these looks please tag me on Instagram because I love to feature you in my videos make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell notification so you don't miss an upload and let's get started with this Kylie look I already have self tanner on so my skin is not this even it's basically like I already have a foundation on and on top of that I'm using Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez in my last tutorial I showed how to get the Selena look and a review of Rare Beauty so if you're interested in that I will have it linked down below and in the cards and this is my favorite new foundation I do prefer lighter coverage um, on the skin but I am going to do more of a dramatic highlight and contour like Kylie and we want to make sure that it's quite bright beside the nose and under the eye up the cheekbones and I added a little bit between the brows. I know Kylie likes to bake the highlight. There was like a behind the scenes video um, that showed her getting ready and she was definitely baking, but I just don't do that. So I'm going to use my favorite powder by Charlotte Tilbury and I'm sweeping this over the skin. And then we're going to go in with a bronzer to warm up the face. Kylie's promo photos were super warm. Her skin was more, again, on the warm side. So some of the other collection promo photos are quite cool toned, but we are going, yeah, more warm. How many times could I say that word? Anyways, um, I'm adding the bronzer mostly on my forehead, through the temples, under the cheekbones, and then creating a bit of a sharper jawline, though mine is not as sharp as Kylie's. Bringing the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer connected from under the brow in an angled line, then down my nose bridge in a straight line and I'm kind of slimming it a bit by bringing those two lines closer together than my natural bridge. And then my nose is more round and tall in comparison to Kylie. So I'm gonna create a line as a shadow underneath um, the whole bottom of my nose there. And then with this Anastasia Pro Base in shade one, you'll see me use this a lot in today's video. I'm gonna clean up those lines and then I'm taking one more bronzer. This is the Hula Caramel by Benefit Cosmetics. It's one of my favorite bronzers when I have more of a tan and I'm going to add a bit more depth under my cheekbones and on the forehead. Then one more time to deepen up the nose contour. Of course, you can use one bronzer. I just wanted to build it up because I'm not used to having um, this shade of tan. So it's always a little bit experimental when I <laughs> gotta change my coloring a little bit. I added two little divots at the bottom of the nose there for more structure and let's do the brows. I'm using the Benefit Precisely My Brow in shade five brushing the brows upwards and then I'm lining under the bottom of the brow shape and then starting to fill in the head lightly and creating a deeper tail. So I'm just putting a bit more pressure through the outer portion of the brow. Kept this round and then I'm using that pro base one more time to clean it up so that the head is more square and fades in. Let me know if you guys like this brow shape because I usually go with more of a fluffy natural shape like Brooke Shields or Lily Rose Depp inspired. I just love a good natural brow, but I did pluck them for this look and I kind of like it. For my lips, I'm gonna use a lip plumper first as I do the rest of the makeup to have it all tingly and kind of plump it up. Um, I love the lip injection glossies from Too Faced. I find they do really plump up your lips. Also, if you do have thinner lips, don't feel like full lips are the only attractive lip shape. I know so many girls are inspired by Kylie and she is stunning, but there are so many gorgeous lip shapes and different faces look more balanced with smaller mouths. So you can totally line your lips normal and just try out different shades without needing any type of enhancements. But these lip plumping glosses do make the lips look very healthy and hydrated. Finally, let's get into the amazing collection. This packaging is by Hayden Williams, who is one of my favorite illustrators. I love how nautical this is. And I'm starting out with the shade Tidal Wave and I'm sweeping above my crease and then into an elongated V, leaving a bit of highlight for the brow bone. I wanted to test out quite a few shades. So this was a bit lighter and warmer than the brown Kylie had in her crease. So then I went in with Wavy on the outer corner and inner corner of the crease to help deepen it. And one more time with the shade on board, which I will go back in with the end to create more depth. But I love the browns, there was no fallout, and I'm going to use this gorgeous light pink. I love this, it's a great all over the lid shade and just brightens up the eye. I've applied in a slightly exaggerated rounded eye shape. 
and now I'm going in with blue ocean which is a matte navy blue and I had an inkling that this was gonna have fallout so I decided to add quite a bit of powder underneath the eyes and as I dipped it in you can see this does have quite a bit of fallout I am using a harsher bristle, bris, mm, bristled <laughs> type of brush, so this does make it worse, but I love this brush. I use it all the time. And I took the excess off and I'm starting to line just above my crease, starting in the center, and I'm using the tiniest amount of shadow because I was worried about the fallout. And as I added this a little closer in the center, I did notice it was a little patchy, had a bit too much fallout, making the initial line more challenging than I'm used to. So cleaning it up, but normally I don't have this issue when I use this tiny brush. I've done many 60s looks with just shadow, and I did find this was harder than it usually is for me. And then I'm using Got the Blues and Blue Ocean together to fill in that section. Again, I was kind of reluctant about using a lot of shadow on my brush and getting it very opaque because I just hate mess and fallout. But once we popped it on, I'm going to add um, a glittery shade in the center. And this iridescent baby blue did help bring that look together. Liquid liner time, I'm doing an outer corner wing similar to Kylie that just fades into the lash line. Using a pencil liner, I love to tight line the inner corner and bottom of the tear duct, really makes the eye stand out as well as um, just dotting it under the bottom lash line. And now we have the very first Kylie lashes ever, and these are called Shady, and it's pop culture password time. If you want to win this extra set of lashes that are currently sold out on the site, just comment the chicken emoji and your Instagram handle, and I will be DMing a winner like I did in the Rare Beauty mini giveaway. And uh, why a chicken emoji? I think Kylie Jenner fans will know the answer to that one. And for blush, Kylie's blush was super bold and gorgeous, like a very pretty baby pink. So I applied Tarte Blush in Fearless to the center of the cheeks fading upwards. Didn't go as heavy duty, but I'll add more of a pop once we've completed the lip. I am so obsessed with the Kiss Me Sailor Matte Lip Kit. Starting with the liner, love the royal blue packaging. I'm taking off that lip plumping gloss, gotta make sure it's all off so that it doesn't disrupt um, the matte texture of the lip liner and I'm creating a rounded V right above where my natural lip line is, and then I'm gonna round out and meet the natural lip shape at the sides. Fading this in, and for the bottom lip, I didn't go as hard overlining, um, but I love this brownie shade. It's stunning, one of my new favorites. And I don't normally love liquid matte lipsticks or anything like that. Um, I usually like more satiny finishes, but I loved this muted pink shade packaging is so fun like I just love the sailor theme so much and I just used a tiny bit in the center and then pat it onto my lips smells really good and because I had that hydrating lip plumper on throughout the video I find this doesn't look drying I can wear it all day and um, one more time just blending in with the lip liner in the promo with the matte lip I noticed it looked like it had a bit of a glow through the center so I decided to use some of this total catch powder um, eyeshadow for a slight pop through the center there and then I went with this iridescent pinky purple highlighter to the center of my cheeks to bring out some of that pink. Time for shadow sticks. I'm using this gorgeous rosy gold shade under the lash line. These are so smooth. I love having that little pop under the lashes. And let's fix up the hair. I did use a wig here, but the front of my hair is my own and I just pinned it back for a retro feel. I love this for a Halloween costume as well. I got the bathing suit from Boohoo. Then I added a bow that I had from a belt and I DIY'd the sailor hat. I just drew um, the little anchor, added some nail polish on it and felt. Okay, we still have two products to try from the line. So let's give this one a go. Zoom you in. Mm, I love the smell. Pretty. This one feels a bit lighter than the Kendall one. The Kendall one comes out like a bit gloppier and I found it kind of like was heavy on the lips whereas this one isn't. So I really like it. Obviously it's more clear than red. I really like these for under the lash line. It is so loud. Hopefully you can't hear there's this like consistent dinging and there was just a fight <laughs> like 
<laughs> right below my apartment. Anyways, let's give this gold one a go. It's more of a champagne than like a bold gold. Wow, these are really creamy. Definitely will use those again. So here are my thoughts on the entire collection, on what I'd recommend, what maybe wasn't my favorite. So first off, I mean, I bought the entire collection and I don't normally buy full Kylie Cosmetics collections. I bought this one and the Kendall. They both really stood out to me. Um, this one for like collecting purposes, I just love the packaging and the whole theme. I thought it was super cute. I love the shades, but the formula isn't my favorite. I don't really love Morphe shadows or Kylie Cosmetics shadows from my other shadows that I normally use from like Too Faced, NARS, they don't have as much fallout as these. So I definitely did the powdering under the eye when I was applying. And I just found that I'm used to a bit of a smoother shadow formula. So for example, like this blue, normally I don't have problem creating precision with that little brush and eyeshadow, but because there was more fallout and I was finding it was a little bit patchier than this like 60s look I did with a black, um, I wouldn't really reach for the deeper shades to create like a sharp cut crease. So this, I'm glad I have it, but if you're looking to like really create a snatched eye and it's one of your first eyeshadow palettes, I would say go with maybe a different brand just so you don't have the fallout issue. And then my next product, I love the matte liquid lipstick and lip liners. That's what Kylie Cosmetics is known for and it looks gorgeous. Like I really overline my lips guys. I don't normally do this and it looks pretty good. I'm really happy with it and I loved the color combo here. The shadow sticks are really creamy. I like shadow sticks under my lash line the most or like to accent above my liner. The gloss, I love, it smells like bubble gum, right? Does it? Is that the wrong scent? It smells like bubble gum. <laughs> and the lashes were gorgeous. This is the first pair from Kylie Cosmetics and they are a gorgeous product. Adore the packaging, will keep this like forever until I lose it. And then um, they feel really lightweight. I always have trouble with the freaking inner corner. So that's a me problem and not a product problem. But um, yeah, I would definitely buy the lashes again. And if you wanna continue to watch another Jenner tutorial, I recently did Kendall's look and I used the whole Kendall collection. So check that one out if you wanna keep on watching. And if you love the retro vibes, this is so pin up and fun, then you might wanna check out my 60s look. I think I promote this in like every recent video because it's just my favorite and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. And anyways, I will see you in my next video.